Hi guys, this is Amrad from mgtuts.com and in this video I'm gonna show you how to prepare your file to engrave in laser machine. Well, why I decided to record this video? A few days ago one of my visitors emailed me and asked for help. He has a problem with importing his Adobe Illustrator file into LaserCut. Well, I recommend him to receive file to oldest version or export it to PLT file format and then import into LaserCut. Here's the deal. To import your file into LaserCut or into any other laser management software, it will be better to export your file into PLT or DXF file formats. Adobe Illustrator has a very poor list of supported files to export. It will be better to use some other software like CorelDRAW or Inkscape to export your file into PLT. Visitor answered me that he received a double illustrator file to third version and import it into LaserCut. Besides the problem that after receiving, look at that he want to engrave the format. In the same time, LaserCut start show error like file has overlap. He also sent me his logo and here I want to show you what was the problem and how to solve them. Here's the logo. It's in white background, it looks normal, but let's move it to side and here you will see that it has a white border and if I will ungroup all files, you will see that beside of contour it has another copy under this white background. If I will check later, then you will see that it has separated contour. As you can see, some of the objects placed on each other and that's why laser cut say that object overlap it. Now let's clean object and make it usable. To do that first, I'm gonna hide through layers, word, group. If I will check word batches, then you will see that it has separated borders. I'm gonna select word and unit all of them to make single object. Now I'm subtracting white border from batches to create space between Two words. Making group of words visible. Now it's getting better. Next, I'm gonna select all objects and unit them. Now this logo ready to engrave. If you will change view, then you will see that there's no any other objects that can overlap each other. Now I'm gonna save Adobe Illustrator file and I'm saving in 8 version. As I said, it's hard to import this file into laser management software. To receive it, you can use CorelDRAW or free software that calls Inkscape. Or if you don't want to use these softwares, you can use another very small software that calls Uniconverter that will allow you convert your files into different file formats. Download it from sq1project.net. After installation, open it. Choose your file, then choose file format that you want to convert. After that, click on convert to convert your file. Now you can import your file into LaserCut and any other software and engrave it. You can skip all these steps if you are using CorelDRAW. Because in CorelDRAW, you can easily prepare your file and export your file into any format that you wish. Well, this is all. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and visit to mgtoots.com for more useful materials.